hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in SQL server how to link between the two tables using foreign key reference if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates I just logged into my SQL server management studio I'm expanding the root folders as well as the databases folder notice the new DB is the database I want to create the two tables in this new DB database right click the new DB new query let's create the table create table student I'm adding columns to the student table student ID integer type not now I'm adding primary key for this column as well as I'm adding the identity column which is one comma one and the student name and var cap 150 student email and var cap 150 student address and var cap 250 and the last one is the gender of the student and var cap sorry i'm adding cap type now let's create the another table which is a student marks after that we we'll link between these two tables using foreign key I'll create the second table create table student marks in the student marks I'm adding the column names hall ticket number hall ticket number integer type not null I'm adding primary key marks 1 uh, int not null the second one is the marks 2 integer type not null marks 3 int not null now after adding the marks now the last column using reference key I'm linking the student table with the student marks so student ID integer type I'm adding foreign key references from I'm references from the student table student the column name is a student ID that's it we have linked the student table with the student marks the student table is a parent table and the student marks is a child table let's create the tables execute and here we got a message command completed successfully let's check in the new db database i'm expanding the new db as well as the tables folder uh, let's refresh the tables folder and here we've got the student and student marks table both are added now let's enter some values into the student table right click the mouse edit top 200 rows and i'm entering the student details the first one is a student ID which is a auto generated column so from the student name Charan student email ID Charan at gmail.com and student address is and the student address is a number 3 Vasant Nagar and the general is male now the second student I'm adding student name is a Vamshi vam at gmail.com and uh, student address is house number 44 James Street and the gender is male the last student uh, Rani than at gmail.com um, host number five Kagati Nagar and the gender is a female just for the demo purpose I have added only three student records now let's add some marks in the student table right to the student marks select uh, edit top 200 rows Now the hall ticket number is a primary key so 
the whole ticket number must be the unique values see here i'm adding one two three is the whole ticket number the max 45 max 1 max 2 is 23 and max 3 is 45 and notice here in the student id if i enter 6 which is not available in our student table the student id 6 is not available so if i press tab so notice here i got an error the insert statement conflicted with the foreign key constraint in the student marks table the last column student id is a reference error which is a foreign key to this student table student id so whatever the student id values are available it will only accept those values only the student numbers only so if i enter 2 which is available if i enter tab so it's accepting again if i press again 1 2 3 the whole ticket number is a primary key it's a unique values if i enter tab 4 56 34 and student id 1 which is available 1 if i enter tab and here we got no row was updated the data in row 2 was not committed because the whole ticket number is a primary key so we should give the unique numbers 1 2 3 4 now it's accepting one second i'm telling briefly when we add a reference key to a tail table from the parent table whatever the values are present in the student id which is a parent table we have to add those values in this column student ID. otherwise it does not save the values and one more important thing is when we are referencing the foreign key from the parent and child table when i try to delete the student table click ok and see here we got the message in the status error we cannot delete this student table because we are referencing the student table with the student marks but we can delete the student marks table student marks delete click ok it's gone now i can able to delete this student table because there is no any reference key to the child table from this student table delete ok that's it